Just to make things clear, this is not a political video. It's a DIY prank video and it was made for the sole purpose of entertainment. With all that being said, in this episode I will show you 5 different ways you can successfully prank Donald Trump. Now we all know Donald Trump is the man who got a stunner from Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? He was also the star of the hit TV show The Apprentice which aired on NBC for a number of seasons. Currently though he lives right here, the White House, as he also happens to be serving as the 45th President of the United States. Which if you think about it actually makes him the most powerful man in the world. Knowing all that you might think that it would be hard to prank the guy, right? Well actually you'd be surprised at how many ways you can prank Donald Trump. In this video though I'm only gonna be showing you 5 ways but if you want more in a future video let me know by giving this video a like and why not subscribe to this channel. Alright then, let's get pranking. Trump is known for having a big ego and boasting about his success. He also has his brand all over the place such as buildings, hotels and casinos. And don't let me get started on his merchandise. Whether it's endorsed by him or not, the man's name and face is in all sorts of things and I'm sure he is proud of all that. Except for maybe one thing. TP. That's right guys, you can find Trump's face on rolls of toilet paper and that is perfect to get him with the following prank. In this scenario, Trump is coming to spend a few days at your house with you and your family. Well, here's how you set up this prank on him. Go online and order yourself some rolls of Trump toilet paper ahead of time. Here's a few I ordered and they all have different poses. This right here is my favorite, so it'll be the one I'll be using. For this prank you will also need a regular roll of toilet paper like this one. Let's unroll a few squares of them and then tear them off. We are basically gonna attach them to the Trump TP. Using tape, join both ends together like so and then simply just roll it up so it looks like a regular roll of toilet paper. Now take that very roll and position it in the bathroom that you know Donald Trump will be using. Make sure to get rid of any rolls that might be in the bathroom. You can however leave some of that extra roll of Trump TP under the sink just to make this prank a bit more fun. Alright, all that's left now is for Trump to arrive at your house and sooner or later he will have to answer the call of nature and when he does go into the bathroom nothing will look suspicious to him at all so he will do his business but when it's time to use some toilet paper that's when he's gonna fall for this gag. As he unrolls the Trump pants his face will be revealed and at this point he will have a big dilemma. Does he dare wipe his behind with his own face or will his pride and ego force him to not wipe at all? Who knows, maybe he will make those few squares of regular TP do the job. Remember that even if he does look under the sink, he will only find toilet paper rolls with his face on it. This is an amazing prank to get the commander in chief with. What would you guys do in this situation? Wipe or not wipe if your face is on a roll of toilet paper? Let me know in the comments below and let's continue. When it comes to golf, it's no secret that Donald Trump loves to golf. In fact, he golfs a lot, like a lot lot. After all, he does own 17 golf courses throughout the world. Now whether he is good at golfing or not, it's up to debate, but frankly I don't care. I'm more concerned with setting up this next prank on him. So if you ever find yourself golfing with the president or maybe he hires you to be his caddy for a day, here's a little practical joke you can set up on him. Again, you'll have to go online or go to a local store that carries gag golf balls. These are amazing if you're trying to get a good laugh. They look and feel like the real thing except that within they are booby trapped. They're very fragile and will fall apart with a single golf swing. The best thing is that they release a colorful chalk dust substance. The ones I got for this example are exploding golf balls from Amazon. They were quite cheap actually. Now in this scenario you are golfing with Trump, either as his caddy or one of his rich buddies. The setup is very simple. When he's not looking or distracted, tweeting away on his phone, swap out one of his golf balls with a gag one and that's it guys. When he goes for a swing, he will be in for a big surprise. Of course, that's assuming he will hit the ball on his first swing. There you go, Trump. Almost there, man, almost there. You got this, man, you got this. Just concentrate. 
There you go. And that's it guys, he won't know what's going on and it will totally freak him out. For sure, this prank will leave him confused and that's when you tell him that he just fell for your prank. So, if you're his golfing buddy, he probably won't want to golf with you ever again. And if you're his caddy, well, consider yourself fired, my friend. <laughs> It's a known fact that Donald Trump isn't the healthiest of eaters. Actually, for a rich guy, he does live off a poor diet. His daily diet consists of fatty foods such as Burger King, Wendy's, KFC, and his favorite, McDonald's. So for this prank, we're gonna mess with his favorite meal, the Big Mac. Now, the thing about the Big Mac combo is that it comes with a drink and a side of fries. Well, that's what we're gonna be booby trapping. So here's the scenario. You and Trump just ordered your food and are about to sit down. This is where you try a scare tactic on him. Tell him that there's germs on the receipt or just simply remind him to go wash his hands. You'll easily get rid of him for a few minutes and that's when you set up this prank. Simply take a napkin like this one, open it and lay it on the table like so. This is where we're gonna trump the fries out. I mean dump the fries out. Yeah, dump. Dump. Yeah, those words are very similar. Okay, so once the fries box is empty, take a small cup. You might want to get a ketchup dipping cup or a small courtesy cup from the register. But since I'm cheap, in this example, I'm just gonna cut an empty bottle in half. So just fill it up with whatever Trump is drinking. Should look a little something like this. Put it inside and over it, we're gonna wrap a napkin around it. All that's left now is to put the fries back inside. Yes guys, you will have some leftover Trump fries so you can wrap them up and set them aside so you can give to him later. Okay, so at this point, Trump's fries have been booby trapped. Just leave them standing up. When Trump comes back from the bathroom, he will most likely be hungry and eager to get his hands on his fries and Big Mac. So he will do what most of us would do when we see our fries standing up. He will either lay them down or dump them out. Either way, he will get a handful of wet, soggy fries and who knows, he might get some of that drink on his Big Mac as well. I'm sure if he's that hungry, he won't mind and proceed to devour his meal. Oh yeah, don't forget to throw him a bone and give him the untampered fries from earlier. With all those Big Macs Donald Trump puts away on a daily basis, surely he always has a drink handy to wash it down with, right? Right. In fact, he loves his fair share of Diet Coke. It's been reported that he drinks 12 cans of Diet Coke a day. This Instagram post from his official page best illustrates his love for unhealthy food. Here he is on his private plane enjoying some greasy fries and a Big Mac. And what do you know, there's a bottle of Diet Coke right there as well. Now, while looking at this picture, it's safe to say that Donald Trump could easily fall for a classic Diet Coke and Mentos prank. And here is the best and easiest way to set that up for him. I would set up this prank on April Fool's Day because you should be able to get away with it. Make sure you have a roll of Mentos handy in one of your pockets. So if you're ever around Trump when he pops open a bottle of Diet Coke, here's what you do. Take a Mentos out and try to distract him with the silliest nonsense. Hey Trump, isn't that Hillary over there? As he is distracted and not paying attention to his bottle of Diet Coke, drop the Mentos inside. After a few seconds, the combination will take effect and Trump will have a big mess on his hands. He won't realize what just happened but at this point, a lot of his Diet Coke will be all over the place. It'd be horrible though if this was his last bottle of Diet Coke. You might either ruin his day or maybe he'll fall in love with the minty taste of his new Diet Coke. Let's move on to our last prank. As the President of the United States and guy who made a cameo on Home Alone 2, Donald Trump signs a lot of bills as well as a few autographs here and there. So he constantly uses pens throughout the day. So if you ever get a hold of one of his presidential pens, here's a little booby trap you can set up on him. Of course, you'd have to be really, really good friends with him or just really, really close to him. Otherwise, you don't want Trump sending the Secret Service after you, right? For this prank, you're gonna need Trump's favorite presidential pen. Since I don't have one handy for this example, we're gonna use a plain old Sharpie. They're basically like presidential pens. They have a cap you can remove and the cap has no openings around it, just like a presidential pen. For this prank, you're also gonna need some shoe polish and a dropper just like this. First step is to open the shoe polish and you can easily extract some with the dropper. Notice that this is black shoe polish so you know it'll make a big mess. Gently start to fill the cap with shoe polish. Once you have enough in there, put it on the pen. If there are any leaks, just wipe them off and the prank is set. Leave the pen somewhere you know Trump will have easy access to it. 
Here Trump is ready to sign a new bill. He is all hyped up for it too as you can see right here. Little does he know that his favorite pen has been tampered with. So as he is about to sign, he pops open the pen and the shoe polish will get all over his important documents. Looks like there won't be a wall after all. Oh well, Trump isn't your typical politician so I'm sure he can take a joke or two or five just like the ones I showed you in this video. Now if you guys want to see five more pranks you can do on Donald Trump, please give this video a like and let me know what you guys thought of this video. I'm trying to start a new series of pranks you can do on celebrities so also let me know what other celebrities I should do next. As you just saw, Trump was first and most likely we will see him again on my channel real soon. So don't miss out guys, subscribe with all notifications turned on. Thanks for the support pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video.